Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's video, we're going to be recreating Rockets legend Yao Ming. So, uh, without further ado, let's just jump into it. Now, it's, it's kind of hard to recreate him because of the stats that he do possess. He's a very unique uh, player. These are the attributes that I was trying to shoot for when building him. Uh, he is 7'6", 310 pounds. He has a 58 layup, 97 post hook, 96 close shot, 90 standing dunk, 40 driving, a 90 mid-range shot, a 45-3, 87 free throw, 79 post fade, 97 post control, 55 pass, 51 ball handle, 96 offensive and 97 defensive rebound, 92 interior defense, 26 perimeter, 94 block, a 55 steal, and a 26 lateral. His physical attributes are 25 speed, 25 acceleration, 28 vertical, and a 90 strength. He has 27 points into finishing, 9 into shooting, 1 into playmaking, and 16 into defense. So, it, as you can see by his stats, it's very, very hard to kind of remake uh, him per se. So, what I kind of focused on was trying to at least hit the badge levels that he does have. So... Oh, uh, of course, in order to get uh, the badge levels that he has, you have to go Hall, uh, Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame uh, defense. Uh, he does have two Hall of Fame badges in drop stepper and put back balls. I believe he does have Hall of Fame box as well, too. But we're not really too focused on uh, the defensive side of things, although we're trying to get to the rebounding. But he was more so known for that finishing at the basket. And his little bit of mid range and uh, stop and uh, pop, uh, pick and pop. I was about to say stop and pop. I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, as you look at his physical attributes, he doesn't really have anything other than strength. So, I mean, it would be nice if I was able to just pick like a pure strength pie chart, but we really can't. So, I'm going to go with um, the vertical and uh, strength pie chart which is this one right here. So he gets a high vertical and high strength or whatever. But, I, I mean, I wish there was a pure physical pie chart, just pure speed, uh, pure such and such or whatever. Like, they, well, they do have a pure speed one. But I don't know why they don't have a pure strength or pure vertical. It's kind of dumb, but it's whatever, you know. So we'll go strength and vertical. And the only reason why I'm not going to go with speed and vertical, I mean speed and strength, is because we're going to have to max out his height and his weight and he's just going to kill his speed anyway. So I would rather just max out his vertical and give him a little bit more as far as vertical goes. Um, finishing, we're just going to max all of this out for finishing just so we can get as many uh, finishing badges as possible. He, he gets 27. We'll get 26. Unfortunately, we won't have uh, the one extra, but it's fine. We can work with that. He does have nine shootings, so we're going to have to nearly max out his uh his shooting or whatever or max out his shooting excuse me and i'm going to take away some from his three to give him eight yeah to give him eight exactly so he's just one off of the nine that he does have which will just take away from like set shooter or something like that because he does have set shooter he only has one playmaking, so I don't even have to focus on putting anything into his playmaking just yet. We'll max out his block, his rebounding, and stuff like that. We'll max out his steals. And... The rest I'm going to put into his uh, interior defense, just making sure he has decent interior defense, although that interior defense will go up. As you uh, increase his wingspan and stuff like that as well as his weight, we can only get him up to 290. You know, obviously we can only go up to 73 because we can't play players 76, and we can't go over 300 pounds, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, this is this is pretty much the build, and then we're gonna max out his wingspan. Now, the only thing about this build, like I said, is that you won't have the uh, shooting ability that he does have as far as you know, the 95 mid-range shot or whatever, or the 90 mid-range shot. 
But you have everything else from Yao Ming, though, you know, that made Yao Ming Yao Ming. I mean, you can go glass cleaning takeover, but I feel like he was more of a rim protector and more of a shot blocker. So I'm going to go with uh, rim protecting takeover. But if I was using this build or making this build to play online with, I would go with glass cleaning, ta uh, glass cleaning takeover. That's just me. Uh, he does have one playmaking badge, which is uh, bronze glue hands. And then we'll go into the defense uh, of box, brick wall, uh, intimidator, uh, rim protector, uh, worm. And then he has bronze uh, post lockdown as well. As well as uh, he does have Hall of Fame box. And then I guess with those extra two points, you could pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, if you want to throw it on Hustler, you could throw it on Hustler. You could throw it on Interceptor. Uh, maybe Rebound Chaser or even a Defensive Leader. Uh, me, personally, I would probably throw it on uh, Bronze Rebound Chaser. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe give him like a Defensive Leader or a Hustler. Or I probably would just throw it all on Bronze uh, Silver re Rebound Chaser just so... That he can rebound because he does have good rebounding stats and he is 7'3. You might as well just, you know, max his stuff out or whatever and make him a decent rebounder and stuff like that. Um, as far as the shooting goes, he had gold hot zone hunter, silver difficult shots, silver fade ace, and silver set shooter. Uh, so we'll we'll still give him those badges. I mean, he does have like a 54 mid-range, so I think if you do uh Managed to get some hot spots with that gold hot zone hunter you would be able to hit i'm not going to bother giving him silver set shooter i just don't think there's a point instead i'm going to opt to give him silver sniper instead uh and we'll still give him silver difficult shots as well and then we'll throw in a bronze fade ace to complete his shooting badges and then finally we're going to give him his finishing badges, which he does have Hall of Fame Drop Stepper and Hall of Fame Put Back Boss. We will be giving him both. And then the rest of his badges are gold and silver. He has a silver hook specialist and a silver lob city finisher, which I won't be giving him silver lob city finisher. One, because we only have 26 finishing and not the 27 that he does have. But I don't think there's going to be much of a difference between lob city finisher on bronze and silver. So I'm going to put it at bronze and then that way we can have all of his other badges on the proper levels that he's supposed to have it on. Like he has gold rise up, uh, gold post spin, gold grace under pressure, uh, gold dream shake, and then finally gold back down punisher. And that has been the Yao Ming build for NBA 2K22. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K22 content and build videos. It's been your boy, Make America Lit. I'm out. Peace.